so home buying is our primary secondary those kind of transactions and home ownership is like rentals interiors mortgages okay. home loan yeah. property management so vivek uh, i would first want you to help summarize all the initiatives which are technology led which is under square yards and it gives an edge over your competitors also in a nutshell since everyone is in this space you know working upon building an ecosystem of their own in this proptech market what are the different solution are you providing in terms of home buying and the forward and backward integration under square yard yeah so kritika as i said we started with primary market transactions in the initial few years we were just focus on that and then we started looking at the market and we looked at the adjacent spaces so the first was very clearly mortgage space people who buy homes they take a mortgage in the region so we ventured into that uh, fast forward to today we are one of the top two distributors of mortgage in the country we uh, we are we are facilitating close to 1200 crores of disbursements every month then after mortgage we looked at what other services the customer needs so we looked at rentals we looked at property management we also looked at uh, interior space and over over the last 2 3 years we have evolved ourselves to be a kind of ecosystem company which is a combination of home buying and home ownership so home buying is our primary secondary those kind of transactions and home ownership is like rentals interiors mortgage okay. bills home loan yeah. property management so now uh, what we see ourselves is we are actually a platform and some of these capabilities we acquired some of these capabilities we built in house but we are creating a platform where anything related to real estate gets sold here and what it has done to us is that it has reduced our customer acquisition cost by a huge number like a guy who is buying a property he is going to take a loan probably 2 3 years down the line he is probably looking out to rent or he wants to do a term in the years and he wants to put his property on the property management services so all of these capabilities we built in house and uh, we are probably one of it's kind of platform in the world who is actually uh, who has matured these plat- uh, yeah. these different services over the years because this this kind of covers the entire customer life cycle on a real estate and that's what we were focused on um as in so we started with one piece but over the years we've added all the pieces around and the beauty of the entire ecosystem plays this is not just india uh, we are now starting to replicate this entire play in dubai as well so so it's 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 a model which is not just that it's suited only for india it's something which we know we can export to many other developing countries um, across the globe where we can start doing this dubai always uh, comes naturally to us given the amount of presence we have in dubai all along so that's becomes our first market outside india to pilot anything which we do here true and that's that's only the b2c part we when we look when we were looking at the value chain so we looked at the stakeholders who are the other stakeholders in this real estate value chain so there are developers there are agents there are banking and non banking financial companies so we started developing b2b solutions for them so we now have very mature solutions for developers uh, as a, a 3d virtual sales platform we have saas tools for agents we have built digital journeys for banks to on board to do to get their sanctions digitally so it's not only the b2c play it's also the b2b play and that gives us the power <coughs> of integrating everything into a common piece true so vivek piyush uh, this leads to my second question is um, when you're saying that you're going to acquire more companies and when you're going to provide more solution when it comes to home buying and for, for even the home seekers don't you think the current market the bigger players like you even square yards and more other bigger players who are doing the same thing where they are creating this ecosystem where all the solution comes under their company don't you think later on down the line there'll be competition just between the pricing because the market will become narrow 
and correct me if I'm wrong, there'll be only few key players later in this market. So later, how the differentiator would be? Would, would it be based on the pricing? Would it be based on the trust factor? What is your take on this? So, uh, Kritika, first thing is when you look at the space, while yes, as you rightly mentioned, a lot of the other players, especially the classifieds, they are trying to kind of create a full bouquet of service. But when you look deeper into it, you will realize that they are effectively still core to their uh, business model, which is generate a lead, pass it on to someone to work on it. So even when they are creating a full bouquet of service of interiors or rental or whatever else or mortgage, they in effect are just passing on that lead to somebody else to, to work upon. And that's what we realized the biggest differentiator factor between them and us has been most of these services, rather all of these services, we control the entire service offering, we control the entire experience and that's where a consumer is able to get a much more standardized uh, experience which they are not able to get with others. Um, so we believe this will be a huge differentiator. Secondly, also the market, uh, beauty of Indian market is it's highly unorganized. Whatever sector you pick, it is fragmented, unorganized, which means there could be a long period of time before the organized players come to a size where they need to massively compete with each other. So, and given these, a lot of these are delivery services, right? They are not a service wherein um, it's a pure tech wherein you can capture a large market share right away. Yeah. The market share gain always is much slower process in, in, in businesses like these, as in any segment you pick up, the largest guy, whether it is us or some other competitor in whichever segment we are operating, the largest guy is hardly 2%, 1%, 3% of the market. So there is a huge room for everyone to grow. In fact, we always keep telling internally that it's better more people coming because when you're trying to organize a market, you need more hands to be able to do it rather than one person fighting a lone war. So more the merrier.